I am here with the one and only Marquette Croquette, and she is actually the Highlands of Roan Stewardship Director, and she's going to show me a little bit about these spruce and fir trees that Correct. you've been telling me so much about. And so I can't wait because I hear that you guys have been doing some planting. Absolutely. Spruce fir is one of the rarest habitats that we have in the southern Appalachians. There's a lot of federally listed threatened and endangered species that depend on it, and we're doing a lot of work with our partners to restore and connect those habitats. Awesome. Here we have oh. a red spruce, and okay. as you can see, this entire area had been logged. And what happens is hardwoods grow really quickly. Um, they get much larger than the spruce, and they shadow the spruce. Yeah. So one of the techniques we use is to just girdle, cut a little circle around each hardwood so they die and become a snag. Okay. The spruce gets lots of sunlight, yeah. pops up to the canopy, starts producing cones. Not only does that feed conifer dependent birds, but it also helps start the process of forest restoration. Wow. So you can That's feel so... how sharp this is. Yeah. Sharp spruce and friendly fir. So Fraser fir, really soft, and red spruce are really prickly. And this is a red spruce. It is, and you can see technically how sort of small this tree is. It is. And this tree could be 50 years old that sort of sits in this like little condition until you give it sunlight and then it grows really quickly. So this could already be 50 years old. Yeah. It looks pretty good for 50. Yeah, not bad, say. huh? Wow. <laughs> How old is this one? Just about a year. This was just about a year? Yeah, it was about a year old. Strong. We planted it last spring. It looks like the top's been nibbled out, but it's growing really, you know, pretty strong and healthy. What kind of uh, animal might nibble on something? Um, here we have a high elevation rabbit species okay. called an Appalachian cottontail. Okay. Um, you know, rabbits could snip off the top, also deer. Um, sometimes browse little veg vegetation like that. This is a healthy one right here. I'm gonna keep an eye on you, little buddy. <laughs> I want to see you back in 50 years. <laughs> right. so eight to ten feet. Mhm. Mm That's the idea is to give them enough space to grow. Let's go see some more, right? Let's go see some mature I'm spruce. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Where are we right now? We're on the clouds, Caleb. We're on the Cloudland Trail. We're gonna go through some mature spruce sky islands. All we're right. on an island in the clouds. Um, and we're gonna end up at Roan High Bluff, which is rocky outcrop um, habitat and contains some really rare uh, federally listed species. Let's explore Cloudland. Let's do it. <laughs> fur. But these are, these fur. are Fraser fur, so feel how soft. It is very soft. They're like friendly fur. As opposed to what I was feeling the, before. The sharp spruce. Fraser fir is actually used a lot commercially as Christmas trees. Oh. So you have a Christmas tree, it's Fraser fir. Um, but Fraser fir and red spruce grow together okay. in these habitats. Um, wow. And you can see these trees have fallen behind us. Yeah. And there's this gap that's filled with sun ah. and then these so then these young trees the ground cover can grow Are everybody gets grow. some sun um, ah. and that's what we're sort of mimicking with those restoration techniques I see. these little natural gaps it's like natural adaptivity we're mimicking nature wow basically. mimicking yeah. nature absolutely I love that and one of the things that's really different about being inside a spruce fir forest is the ground cover yeah. and so this is um, liverwort um, there's a species oh. called Vizania. Yeah. Um, it's really different from that grassy habitat where we did our restoration. Right, right. So someday, um, when those spruce are mature and they shade out the grass, this is what we're shooting for. This sort of ground cover is really good for some of our rare species, some of the salamanders. This is um, star moth and it's also just one of those ground covers that's kind of indicative of spruce fir forests. So these are our friends, these are good. Absolutely, yeah. We've made it to Cloudland. <laughs> Marquette. Yes. Welcome to Roan Hub <laughs> This is the house you've been telling me about. You said you'd, you'd invite me to your home, this is your home, Cloudland. 